Well, good morning again, everybody. Welcome. Uh, glad you could all join us this morning. Uh, let me take a couple minutes and let you know about some things coming up that you should be aware of. Um, first of all, next Sunday, um, we're going to have a crock pot lunch. It's being advertised as the Calorie Chapel. <laughs> right? Understood, right? You guys get it. So <laughs> there's, there's a sign-up sheet in the back on the uh, table right by the door on the left there. And sign up to bring whatever you'd like. Um, and by all means, stick around after the service and share some food and fellowship with us. Uh, it's really blessed time to just get to spend time together and, and break bread together after service. So uh, keep that in mind for next Sunday right after church. Uh, this coming Wednesday, uh, the midweek group is going to meet at the Pachochins at 6.30 p.m. Uh, in the same manner, Friday, August 21st, uh, the women's prayer. It's going to be at 9.30 a.m. at the Pachochins, so uh, just be aware of that. Keep those in mind. Uh, women's fellowship is going to be coming up uh, Friday, August 28th. That's a 7 o'clock p.m. meeting at the home of Stacy Martinez. Um, she'd be happy to let you know more about that. She's seated in the back there. Any ladies who'd like to be a part of that? And then coming up a little bit further uh, down the line, September 11th, uh, Calvary Chapel Columbia is hosting an event with a special guest named Patty Height, founder of Out of Egypt Ministries, and she's going to share on how the church can reach out to and minister to the LGBT community. Certainly a need there to share truth and love and light and not bring as much heat to that uh, debate because these are people that need to be reached uh, for the gospel and love, just like every other uh, unrepentant person, every other sinner. Um, so hopefully that'll be a very instructive time um, and just a good way for us to reach out to those in our lives and that we know that um, that are caught up in that lifestyle and in that community. So it's coming up September 11th, uh, about a month away. About a week after that, the, the Deep South Women's Conference is going to be in Stone Mountain, Georgia, September 18th through 19th. Any of the ladies who'd like to be a part of that? Uh, and finally, you can, uh, you can find out more about all of these and keep up with all current events and activities at the website, which is calvarychapelfranklin.com, if you're not aware. I encourage you to go by there and check it out. And finally, the last thing to mention, you may have noticed there's a new floor down today. I don't know much about floor, but I'm told that this floor is very susceptible to scuffing uh, and also to staining from snacks. So I think what we're going to do... Uh, starting today is we're going to move the snacks up to the front of the sanctuary, right by the front door. Just encourage people to enjoy um, snacks and everything in that area. Feel free to fellowship here, but just in an effort to try to keep the uh, to keep the floor in good shape, um, we'll keep the snacks up there. All right. Well, with all that being said, why don't y'all stand with me? Open your Bibles if you have them to Psalm 111 as we prepare for worship. All right, we're good to go. Psalm 11, the first three verses we prepare for worship this morning. Let's read together. Verse 1. Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart, in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, studied by all who have pleasure in them. His work is honorable and glorious, and His righteousness endures forever. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we just rejoice this morning that your righteousness endures forever and your works are so great. Lord, this world that you have created is filled with beauty, wonder. Lord, we're just so privileged to have a glimpse of your creativity, uh, for all that you have done, just in the beauty of the world and everything around us. Lord, how much greater are the works you have done in our own lives and in our own hearts. Lord, we who are so undeserving... We're without any way of saving ourselves, but you reached down and provided a way for us to be saved. Lord, we thank you for Jesus this morning, for, that, for the fact that he first loved us, that he gave his life for us, that he paid the penalty for our sins. Father, we can now have everlasting life because of him. Lord, it is he we worship this morning, and it is that work that we celebrate. Lord, we just ask you to be with us now. Guide us during this time of worship. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We just ask you to go before us now. Lead our hearts as we bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
Once again, good morning. Welcome to Gary Chapel. Walk around and say hi to someone around you. 